हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू दिस चैनल डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे टॉपिक इज ओपन दैट इज ऑपरेशनल एम्पलीफायर वी विल डिस्कस द ब्लॉक डायग्राम एज वेल एज एसी एंड डीसी एनालिसिस ऑफ ओपन फ्रॉम एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू यू मे एक्सपेक्ट द क्वेश्चन लाइक ड्रॉ द ब्लॉक डायग्राम एंड एक्सप्लेन द वर्किंग ऑफ ब्लॉक डायग्राम of the op amp that is operational amplifier you may also expect some numericals based on ac and dc analysis of op amp that also we will cover so first part is block diagram of operational amplifier this is the symbol of op amp which has two input terminals positive input terminal and negative input terminal positive input terminal is called non inverting input terminal negative input terminal is inverting input terminal plus vcc and minus ve are supply connected to this op amp and from this end we are taking the output now let us discuss about the block diagram there are four stages the first is input stage it is dual input balanced output differential amplifier ye actually hum log detail mein learn karne wale this circuit is built up by using two transistors so it has two inputs that's why it is dual input balanced output because we are taking the output from the two collectors of two transistors jaise maine bataya hum log detail mein learn karne wale hai so it is balanced output next stage output of this input stage is applied to intermediate stage which provides gain of an op amp so this stage is responsible for for providing the gain it is basically dual input means two inputs are there unbalanced output differential amplifier next is level shifter we'll also learn this topic in detail so this is basically emitter follower circuit uh, which is designed using constant current source the last is output stage it is complementary symmetry push pull amplifier which produces the output now your answer must include these points i have listed out some important points this input stage i have written it as dual input balanced output differential amplifier differential amplifier as the name indicates it amplifies the difference of two input signals so it uses two input signals one is non inverting that is connected to positive terminal another is inverting connected to negative terminal output is measured between two collectors jaise maine bataya hum log detail diagram discuss karne wale hai so two transistors are used and output is measured between two collectors of the two transistors both collectors are at same dc level so it is called balanced output so this stage produces balanced output next is intermediate stage that is second stage the collectors are at some finite dc level this dc level is not zero they are at some finite dc level so it is unbalanced output there is a direct coupling matlab input stage is directly connected to this intermediate stage without using a coupling capacitor beech mein capacitor use nahi kar rahe hai so due to direct coupling ampli this uh, device this circuit amplifies both ac and dc signals agar capacitor hai to uh, dc signal block ho jayenge but due to direct coupling both ac and dc are amplified this stage provides high gain and high input resistance ideally uh, in case of op amp input resistance is infinity this is ideal value practically it is very very large value the reason is at the inside the input terminal very small amount of bias current is flowing so it has very high input resistance then third stage is level shifter stage there is a direct coupling direct connection between these first two stages so due to direct coupling dc level is shifted which is not at the ground level it is shifted which will shift the operating point and it will produce distortions in the next stages to avoid this thing this level shifter stage ye bhi hum log detail mein learn karne wale this level shifter stage shifts the dc level towards zero then output stage output stage is basically responsible to produce low output resistance this is used to avoid the loading of an op amp so this is about the generalized explanation of block diagram of operational amplifier now we have to solve numericals based on ac and dc analysis of op amp before solving the numericals let us 
quickly brush up some terms which are required for the numericals. First is, this is the block diagram of ideal differential amplifier. As the name indicates, it is an amplifier which amplifies the difference between two input signals. As shown in this simplified diagram, two input signals are used V1 and V2. Difference between them is VD. So in very much simplified language, we can say VD is V1 minus V2. This amplifier amplifies the difference between the two input signals. So V0 is directly proportional to V1 minus V2. Now first parameter is common mode signal. If you apply common signal, that means if you make V1 is equal to V2 is equal to V, then output will be zero. This is the case for ideal op amp or ideal differential amplifier. Next parameter is differential gain, AD. The gain with which the different signal is amplified is called differential gain. We know that basic definition of gain is output ratio of output to the input. So we can well express like this V0 matlab hai, output voltage hai, which is equal to AD. AD ka matlab hai, differential gain into VD. VD is difference between two input voltages that is V1 minus V2. From this we can write AD is equal to V0 upon VD. Simple ye VD yaha pe transfer kiya hai. So AD is V0 upon VD therefore V0 upon V1 minus V2. Next is common mode signal. It is defined as the gain with which practical amplifier amplifies common mode signals. Practically, V0 is not only dependent on VD. Ideal case, we have learned what we have learned. output voltage that is proportional to difference between input voltages that is proportional to VD. But in practical cases, V0 that is output voltage is not only dependent on this difference voltage, but it also depends on the average voltage level VC. This average voltage level is calculated by using a simple formula. Vc is V1 plus V2 upon 2. V1 and V2 are two input voltages. So we can define AC that is common mode gain as V0 upon Vc where Vc is the uh, average voltage level. Next term is CMRR. Ye bhi hum log detail mein learn karne wale. So common mode rejection ratio CMRR is basically ratio of AD to the AC. So this is about the parameters which are required for solving the numericals. Now let us solve few numericals related to this. I have made a list of formulae. This list is sufficient to solve the numericals as far as AC, uh, AC and DC analysis of uh, op-amp is concerned. First formula is VEE is VBE plus 2 times IE into RE. Before that, this is the circuit diagram for dual input balanced output. That is DIBO, dual input balanced output differential amplifiers. Two transistors are shown, Q1 and Q2. RC1 and RC2 are resistance connected at collector terminal of Q1 and Q2 respectively plus VCC and minus VEE are the supply given to this circuit. RE is the common emitter resistance. So uh, IE that is emitter current of Q1 and IE that is emitter current of Q2 flows through this RE. So this current is referred as 2 times IE because it is addition of 2 emitter currents. Then RE1 and RE2 are input resistance for both Q1 and uh, Q2. Vs1 and Vs2 are supply given to base of transistors Q1 and Q2 respectively. So as I said, this is the circuit diagram for dual input balanced output uh, configuration or amplifier. Now, let us discuss one numerical. So as I said, this is this is the list of formulae. Sir, pitna formula sufficient hai. We'll discuss the numerical. Then I will tell you how to implement, how to make use of this formula. A dual input balanced output that is DIBO differential amplifier has following specifications. RC1 equals to RC2 is 2.2 kilo ohm. Matlab ye do values diye 2.2 kilo ohm. RE this value is given as 4.7 kilo ohm. Then input resistance RN1 equals to RN2 is 50 ohm. This RN1 and RN2 is equals to 50 ohm. VCC is plus 10 volt minus VE is minus 10 volt. Don't get confused. While making use of value VE, 
actually it is minus v which is given as minus 10 volt so v is 10 volt then beta ac as well as beta dc is 100 and vbe is 0.715 that is voltage between base and emitter is 0.715 volt calculate first part icq second vcq and ad we have already discussed the meaning of each and every term now first calculation that is icq अब देखो फॉर्मूला कौन सा यूज करना है वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस फॉर्मूला वी इज बीबी प्लस टू टाइम्स आई इन टू आर लेट अस री अरेज द टर्म्स मतलब ये बीबी यहां ट्रांसफर करेंगे सो इट बिकम्स वी माइनस बीबी फिर टू आर ई ट्रांसफर करेंगे सो आई इज सेम एज आई सी क्यू विच इज वी ई माइनस बीबी अपॉन टू आर ई सो डायरेक्टली वी कैन मेक यूज ऑफ दिस फॉर्मूला सो आई सी क्यू इज वी ई माइनस वी बी ई अपॉन टू आर ए सिंपली पुट द वैल्यूज वी ई ई इज टेन होल्ट माइनस वी बी वी बी इज गिवन एज पॉइंट सेवन वन फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई टू टाइम्स आर ए रेफर द वैल्यू ऑफ आर ई आर ई इज फोर पॉइंट सेवन किलो ओहम सो इट इज फोर पॉइंट सेवन इन टू टेन रेस टू थ्री ओहम वन किलो ओम इज टेन रेस टू थ्री ओहम सो इफ यू सॉल्व दिस then this answer will be 9.9.877 into 10 raised to minus 4 amperes which can be written as 0.9877 milliampere this is answer of icq second part vcq refer the list of formulae we have a ready made formula of vcq that is vcc i will write the formula vcc plus VBE minus RC ICQ. So put the values VCC. Value of VCC is given in the question. It is 10 plus VBE. VBE is 0 0.715, 0 0.715 minus RC. Value of RC that is collector resistance is 2.2 kilo ohm. So again 2.2 into 10 raised to 3 into icq we have already calculated the value of icq it is 9.877 into 10 raised to minus 4 so if you simplify this answer of vcq will be 8.8 uh, 8.542 holds <coughs> third part we have to calculate the gain differential gain that is ad refer the formula of ad Differential gain is given as RC upon RE. So RC upon small RE. We need to calculate the value of RE. We have the ready made formula of RE. So small RE, it is VT, that is thermal voltage. If not mentioned in the question, always take value of thermal voltage standard value 26 millivolt divided by IE. It should be in milliamperes. So first I will calculate RE which is VT that is 26 millivolt upon ICQ that is IE. So ICQ is same as IE. So it is mm, 0.9877 in terms of milliamperes. 0.9877. So if you solve this, you will get value of RE that is 26.32. Now put this value in the equation of AD. So AD becomes RC. Value of RC is 2.2 kilo ohm, so 2.2 into 10 raised to 3 upon value of RE that is 26.32. So it is 2.2 kilo ohm, so into 10 raised to 3. So this answer will be 83.586. 83.586. So this is the way how to calculate the different values related to Q point and differential gain. Next problem. Question is determine Q point for dual input balanced output differential amplifier with RC is equals to RE which is 65 kilo ohm and supply voltage 15 volt. That means VCC is 15 volt minus V is also 15 volt. Assume suitable data. For calculation purpose we will assume standard data. So let us assume IC is equals to IE. Let us assume beta of the transistor 100 and VB equals to 0.7. Now we have to calculate the Q point. That means first calculation VCQ. We have the ready made formula like the last sum. Uh, first we will calculate ICQ. So ICQ 
the first formula which is equals to v e e minus v b e upon 2 times r a simply put the values v is 15 minus v b 0.7 upon 2 times r e value of r c and r e is same that is 65 kilo ohm so 65 into 10 raised to 3 so this answer of icq will be 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 4 ampere you can well convert it in terms of uh, milliamperes so this is same as current ie and we assumed ie is equals to uh, ie is equals to ic okay next calculation vcq same like the last problem it is vcc plus vbe minus rc into icq put the values vcc is 15 plus 0.7 minus value of rc is 65 into 10 raised to 3 because it is 65 kilo ohm into icq is same as ie so it is 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 4 so this answer of vcq will be 8.55 volt 8.55 volt apart from this we need to also calculate value of vc that is voltage at collector point let refer this diagram diagram remains same uh, if you are talking about any transistor, let us talk about transistor Q1. This voltage is Vc. Now, how to calculate Vc? It is Vcc, that is supply voltage minus voltage drop across this RC. So, simply I can write Vc is equals to Vcc minus IC into RC. So, Vcc is 15 minus IC is same as IE. So, we have the value of IC and IE which we have calculated it is 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 4 i will put the bracket into rc value of rc is 65 kilo ohm that is 65 into 10 raised to 3 so answer of vc will be equals to 7.85 hold same way we have to calculate the base current also make use of basic formula it is ic upon beta value of ic is same as ie which is 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 4 upon value of beta is 100. So it is 1.1 into 10 raised to minus 6. That is 1.1 micro ampere. 10 raised to minus 6 is micro. So these are the answers related to Q point. Next numerical, a dual input balanced output differential amplifier has following specifications. RC 2.7 kilo ohm, RE 4.5 kilo ohm, VCC 10 volt minus V is minus 10 volt, beta 100, VB 0.7, RE 26.34. Keep in mind, value of RE is given in the question. Agar nahi dete hai, to hum logon ko pata hai, last numerical mein hum logon ne solve kya hai. We need to calculate the value of RE. Then calculate voltage gain, R in and R0. So first calculation, voltage gain, that is AD, we have a ready-made formula. RC upon RE. Just I have told you, RE is question me diya hai. Agar nahi dete to we would have calculated it. So RC value of RC is 2.7 kilo ohm. So 2.7 into 10 raised to 3 divided by RE is 26.34. So value of voltage gain will be 102.5. This is the answer of first part. Second input resistance R in. We have the formula. That is R in or R i is twice beta AC into R e. So it is twice beta AC into small R e. So it is 2 into 100 into 26.34. Therefore input resistance R in is 5.268 ohms. That is 5.268 kilo ohms. Third R zero. Value of R0 is same as RC. We have a ready-made formula. So R0 is same as RC. That means R0 will be 2.7 kilo ohm. So it is simple numerical. Just as I have told you, if we don't give R, we have to calculate karna padta hai. So these numericals are pretty simple. You should not skip such numericals because there are only so many like So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.